Hi everyone. So there was a question that was asked in aptitude section of instrumentation and civil shift two question paper. So they gave you a cube and they asked you to rotate the cube with respect to its main diagonal such that you get the same structure. There is a cube. There is a main diagonal. You have to rotate the cube with respect to the main diagonal such that you get the same structure. Okay. This was the question. and everyone was giving the answer 120 sorry everyone was giving the answer as 90 degree in wherever i have seen everyone was giving 90 degree answer and two days back or three days back i made a video that answer should be 120 now i am giving you the proof why should it should be 120 okay so this is a 3d structure right we can see this is the main diagonal you can check here this is the main diagonal right now what i am going to do i am going to rotate it with respect to this i am going to rotate this with respect to this main diagonal so currently it is at 0 degree so i am placing it something like this or anywhere i can replace it i am i am placing it something like this so you can see the main diagonal now now this will rotate with respect to this main diagonal okay just see the angle currently it is 0 degree now it will rotate okay we are starting 45 your answer was 90 degree check what is happening at 90 degree tell me what is happening happening at 90 degree this is what is happening at 90 degree So do you think 90 degree is the correct answer no let's go more more and here it is 120 nearly 120 right so you can see at 120 we are again getting the same structure at 90 degree this is the structure we are getting the blue one this is not the same if you go to 120 we are getting the same structure Are you getting this point? I will show you once again. Yeah, so this was the structure. Let's see it once again from some other angle. We will we will see. So this AC is the main diagonal. So what we are doing? We are placing it something like this now. Now the main diagonal is is coming right out of the screen, right out of out of the screen. This blue point you can see, this one, this blue point, this blue point you can see that is the main diagonal. Now we are rotating. Okay, let's rotate. Now it is being rotated. It is rotated, right? it's being rotated it's being rotated 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 and there it is 120 again you can see at 120 nearly 120 you are having the same structure again so this this is how you will answer 120 degree and uh, i have made one separate video there i would there i told you how to solve the problem in the examination so briefly i will tell you here so whenever they give you any axis just place your eyes there Uh, i will think in my mind okay there is a cube axis is given so i will place my eyes in the line of axis i will place it as that my, that line of axis is coming right into my eyes is tarah place karunga ki wo axis ana seedhi meri aankhon mein aaye aise seedha ye line seedhi meri aankhon mein aa rahi hai ye wala jo line hai wo seedha meri aankhon mein aa raha hai now what do i see one line one line and one line these three line i see now i have to rotate what do i see this line this line and this line these three i, I see now i have to rotate so how much degree i have to rotate 120 degree i know between this line and this line there is an angle of 90 degree but that's in 2d if you are considering this phase the angle is 90 degree and thinking that only everyone thought that 90 degree should be the answer but that's in 2d if you are rotating with respect to this axis this main diagonal your answer would be 120 so you are seeing three lines only and what is the angle between these two line 120 degree 120 degree and 120 degree that's why your answer should be what 120 and here i have given you the proof now tomorrow is our ec electrical examination or any other examination as well so the same kind of question can be asked for tetrahedron and i am pretty sure if they ask the question on tetrahedron everyone will get a wrong answer so i will deal the tetrahedron question as well okay so yeah we will check that i am not saying that certainly it will be asked but it can be asked if not in 2024 it can be asked in 2025 or 2026 so we will see the example of tetrahedron now yeah so let's check for tetrahedron now so what they can ask in tetrahedron they can say that in tetrahedron there is a axis which is which is passing through one of the vertices and cutting the opposite face right in the middle look this is passing through d this is one of the vertices and cutting the opposite face face or fa uh, whatever they can call surface opposite surface what is the opposite surface that is acb it is cutting the opposite surface right in the middle right in the middle they now this axis can be anywhere it can pass through a 
and cut the opposite face right in the middle DCB it will cut DCB right in the middle it can pass through B it will cut DAC right in the middle so this is what can happen right now what do you see here now we will rotate it right so this is our axis now in examination you will not have this structure right you will not you will not have this simulation in examination you will have to think what trick did I tell you I told you you need to arrange the axis such that it is coming right into your eyes so what I will see okay there is a tetrahedron the axis should be coming right into my eyes so I have to place I have to place myself here so what do I see where, where? here here I have to place myself here so if my eyes is if my eyes are here what will I see I will see three lines try to visualize your eyes right about D if you visualize your eyes right about D here right about D what do you see you will see three lines and three lines in 2D makes an angle of 120 degree three lines you see what did we see in the cube in cube we see the same thing right if we see the axis from the axis we see only three lines they were making an angle of 120 degree now in the simulation I can show you this was the line of axis this red point this was the line of axis it is coming right into our eyes so from this red point what do we see we only see these three lines CD AD and DB now I have to rotate so I will rotate like this let's rotate this is 20 60 80 90 110 120 there it is the same structure so I see only three lines and they will make an angle of 120 degree so if I rotate by 120 degree I will get the same structure are you getting my point so this is the approach so these kind of questions can be asked to you in the examination so you should be ready I have told you the trick you have to place the axis such that it is coming right into your eyes it is if it is coming right into your eyes you just have to rotate you just need to see how much lines do you see and how much angle they will make 120 120 120 so basically by 120 degree okay so for the previous question i am pretty sure answer would be 120 degree only okay so if you like the video please try to share it thank you